Oh man. Well, the foresters have a new lord, Roderick. It looks like I won't be fighting anyone, anyone, anytime soon. Or ever again. Oh, they didn't amputate it, so maybe I could walk again. I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick, thank the gods. Brother, I feel like careful. You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. You all right? Come here, sister. How bad is it? <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool that he's still alive, man. Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Yeah, these wounds will heal. These wounds will heal, Talia. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Roderick, there's something you need to know. <sighs> Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> no tears. You're stronger than that. been chaos here since he died. Hmm. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. I will do what I must to preserve House Forrester. I don't mean to put unwanted pressure on you. I just... It's all right. Damn. Barely been, uh, I'm back from the dead and... <laughs> I know you still need time to heal. I sure do. But... I'll be fine, Talia. Wait, I still need the rest. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... Just give me a wheelchair. I want to go. Or a shoulder to lean on, I guess. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Only one way to find out. <sighs> I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. Damn, why does that door seem so can. far away? Ah! Patrick! I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Hmm. 
Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse, Cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. Damn, sis. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Yeah, this is what I asked for. Please, Roderick. Thank you, Talia. Ready? That's it. <clears throat> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Hmm. That bear looks stiff as hell. <laughs> Alright, we're at the wall. Garrett Tuttle. At Castle Black. Got bandages, a necklace, and some herbal poultice. And I found my horse. Last I checked, this horse ran away. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. The wall. Always wanted to Recruits see it. Not like this. Night watch training. Ugh. This is gonna suck. <laughs> Your arrival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. Aye, I am. I thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger, he's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. <laughs> Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. <laughs> no, no. I can put on a mean face. <laughs> you fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're ferocious. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Jump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Hmm. Oh man, give me the choice to turn around and go back home. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come. You train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief, a raper. You abandon your post. 
Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either, Garrett Tuttle. Oh. How do you know Someone sent a raven for me? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. I got nothing to hide, man. You are a killer. By choice. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Alright, you try to be a little less depressing. Damn. Not familiar faces. New trophy. Woohoo! I'm racking them up now. Okay. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread. Hmm. <sighs> fucking worms in it. That, that's pretty no drunk. Is about this. We should just take what we need. <laughs> White House soldiers always seem to uh, month old bread. We have too few men to handle them. Oh, that's nice. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Yo, man, Roger, he was the best soldier the Forrester family no had. One else. No fucking and now wine. he can't do anything right now. Well, there must be one. Must be really hard. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Damn. He's had a run-in with Walder Frey, didn't And he's you? leaning on a girl. I should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a real cursed. shame about your leg, my Who Lord. gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. What? Hmm. I'll be back for you, man. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. <sighs> Fuck yes. <laughs> Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Well, he tested me. I don't know what I can do like this, but I wonder what's weaker. Your legs or this house. I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Yep, stand up straight. Go on then, my lord. All right. Yeah, show me some respect, man. Still my house. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> good thing that turned out good. <laughs> it's madness. You can't starve I them will out. not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as sentiment. All right, sin no crap is, is done. I'm the ruler now. I have full control, right? Roderick. My boy. All right. That's enough hugs and kisses. Come join us. 
Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. All right. It's good. <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. Mr. Otengrin doesn't know everything. Who among us does? Who oh, indeed? Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool! My lord, please! No, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir stole... Sir Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! Because we have no bloody army! It's because you have no wits! How dare you! I will have order! Of course. Yeah. Apologies, my lord. I'm a man now. <laughs> the White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. What? We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Houses Helliver, Grayson and Brownborough were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Bolts. Oh my god. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Hmm. Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Oh, really? Lady Elena? She's coming now. He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately Dude, need. Dude, I'm gonna look so weak yeah, in front of her. Become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes, this marriage could be our chance. <sighs> Got to the charm. Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. Talia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You Wait. can still make her not happy, there. Roderick. And she can do the same for you. Uh, if Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome <sighs> dispute. Give them wine. I want them dull, not angry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Wine is dangerous. Ugh. Maester. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. Ethan the Brave. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. Ouch. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. I wonder how old Talia is. She's so short. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Hmm. <laughs> 